are at the uh, grand opening of the gay Mardi Gras art exhibition in this open space full of open people. There are so many famous faces here together with uh, a large number of people wearing masks. And for you, what's Mardi Gras? What does it mean? I think expression of gay culture, really. Just celebration, all just get together and have a good time. Why not? Why shouldn't we? Let's all get together. It's a general publication of what we are and who we are and what we can do for the society. Terrific. In yeah. society. In society, thanks. That's right. Very true. And for you, what's Mardi Gras mean? Um, a celebration of gay pride and um, let's get out there and um, do lots of things and there's diversity in the gay community as well, not just a party night. Terrific, yeah. The hard work. <laughs> oh, I have Chris Fish here at the Gay Mardi Gras workshop in charge of quality control and efficiency. Here at the workshop, quality is job number one. Now it may look a little free form down here but we do get things done. As Karl Marx said, Art without discipline is false consciousness. Now, for example, take this fetal project over here. If these ends had not been cut off, the point would have been totally missed. Isn't that so? Thank you. Of course, as well as quality control, I do work in my own sphere. Oh, the planet? Yes. Now, what are you doing? Get back to work. Not only am I surrounded by a small band of pig-headed staff, I also have to deal with herds of Antipodean riffraff coming in here to sprinkle glitter on all their costumes and getting in my way. Not to mention the press and, and you video people. Now everyone, get back to work. Now here, get out of here. Uh. Hi there, Doris. Hi, how are you? Well, hello, John. How nice to meet you. I'm... Oh, how are you? Excuse me, madam, we're being interviewed. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> listen, listen, I want you... Listen, while the we're on, we're on television, darling. While the flash is working, can we get your photograph taken? Yes. Okay, while the flash <laughs> You're looking very wonderful this evening. I Why, love thank your you. portrait. Why, thank you ever Who so. did it? I'd like you to meet the artist, Mr. Ron Smith, who did that beautiful portrait. It was me. great. It really... Uh, well, Mardi Gras, the opening of Mardi Gras must mean something for you. Oh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> it means a night off from the workshop. Mm. It means dinner out on the town. Oh, right. We can stop looking for the scissors. Hello, That's darling. Terrific. How are well, you? And what does Mardi Gras all over mean for you? Does it mean a vacation in Sydney? <laughs> terrific. How wonderful. <laughs> and for you? A vacation in Sydney as well. <laughs> you don't live here. No, I do. All right. So you <laughs> and this was done here, wasn't it? Yes, okay. I posed for it. It looks great. I'm sorry? What does Mardi Gras mean for you? Celebration. What else? Terrific. A celebration. And that's why we have a cake this evening. Hi, here's another familiar face. Jeff's really getting down to work at the moment. <laughs> no puns accepted. I'm going to have a tough time. Are you? Yes. No, I don't have any time. You're wearing oh. one of these fabulous masks. Another mask wearer behind you. I'll come back when I've had a shower. Terrific. <laughs> thespian and kangaroo. Hi there, Thes. Hi. Okay, so for you, Mardi Gras is a lot of work and a lot of work, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. Tonight, the opening night of the gay Mardi Gras festivities here in fabulous Sydney, Australia. And cast your eyes around, you'll see some wonderful works of art, won't we? Great things, yes. The glitterati are out in force tonight. I've been rubbing shoulders with some fabulous Antipodean nobodies. Nobody you'd know, of course. Standing near me tonight, Mr. Peter Tully. Hi there. Hi there. And Mr. Ron Smith. Hi. Having a great time here? I guess he is. Off having a good time. Well, the festivities will be continuing for a month, culminating in the world's most spectacular nighttime parade and all-night bacchanal. 
That's right. And it'll just go all night, and we're really going to have a good time. here at Pier 1 for a Saturday night harbour boat cruise with the Boomerang Social Club. particularly wanted to say a few words to you tonight 
to open the film festival about the purpose uh, and the value of even participating in such a thing and of your value as, uh, as audience for such a thing as a gay film festival. We need propaganda. I, I think the gay movement needs more propaganda like that. Definitely was a very strong statement of propaganda. And lastly, Rod, did you enjoy it? I, I adored it. I cried. I was part of that movement uh, it, when they sang the thing about um, the national anthem when N Nellie Queens. I cried. I loved it. Terrific. Thanks very much. Rod Thorpe, Shawville Cinema for the Mardi Gras Film Festival. Always peach preserves. Oh, please, my nerves. I like the Mardi Gras, but gay Catholics? That no? really interests me. <laughs> Why does it interest you? Never heard of such thing before. That is the best. It's better than Christmas. I think it's great. It's really Why? Why is it great? Look at everybody having fun. You know? Do you think it's good for gay people to? Yeah. It's okay. Good for everybody. It's just so wonderful. <laughs> so powerful. costume this year. <laughs> what does Mardi Gras mean to you? A lot. Freedom. <laughs> Again, there's a big crowd out here in the heat of the afternoon for the GBA Fair. The GBA is a group of uh, businessmen, Gay Businessmen's Association, which has been formed for some eight years and represents many businessmen from all over Sydney.
just a dream come true, that's all. <laughs> I wanted to do it and I, I think it looks great. I love it. Oh, fun. That's wonderful. A good time and unity. A good time and unity. Like oh, nice no, Without the dog? Would I lie to you? 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 Have you noticed in the last year or two a change of consciousness amongst the gay community in regard to health and sport? Well, we certainly noticed something because all our sporting features are so well attended. We have um, you know, three basketball teams, we have two volleyball teams, and we have you know, swimming events and tennis events and uh, several fun out runs during the year. So um, there's a whole consciousness that's seeking us as a new role model in, in the society. Yeah. And Doris Fish here, and I am in downtown Darlinghurst in lovely Green Park. I'm standing right in front of the world famous men's bathroom here. And of course this is for the Sydney Gay Sports Association. I'd like to congratulate you, Jim, for winning the fun run this year. Of course you didn't come in the special category like I did last year, but I guess this is okay. Thank you ever, sir. Mardi Gras for me is a, a wonderful celebration of being gay and a chance to give thanks for all that we enjoy in uh, ourselves as gay people and uh, also a chance to um, join together in different ways. <laughs>
the character of Dorothy is trying to find a home, and I believe that the home for gay people is each other and the love and fellowship that we share, particularly at Mardi Gras and the celebration that goes on around the time of Mardi Gras in the gay community. like it's a it's a gay cult film I mean gay people love that film and I think it has something to say to us as gay people it talks about looking for courage and strength and, and it's all within the community uh, and we've got it so I think that's that's uh, why we picked it for our float
night of partying at the annual gay Mardi Gras. Greg Ward reports the highlight of the night was the colourful street parade. Organisers are expecting more than 50,000 people from Australia, New Zealand and the US West Coast for the annual Mardi Gras parade. Sydney's gay community passed up the Reverend Fred Niles offer of an evening of AIDS lectures last night and took to the streets in force for the annual Mardi Gras instead. Reverend Nile was suggesting the gays cancel their big showground party to learn more about the killer disease, but the idea never got off the ground. The Mardi Gras went on as planned with the usual show of gay abandon. Sydney's ninth annual Mardi Gras made its loud and colourful way through the inner city last night. Not even the rain could dampen the spirits of the thousands who took part in the parade. There were thousands of people who didn't let the rain stop them enjoying the ninth annual gay Mardi Gras. Electrical storms and winds gusting up to 40 kilometres an hour failed to dampen the Mardi Gras spirit in Sydney last night. More than 40,000 people lined Darlinghurst streets to witness the ninth annual gay Mardi Gras and about 10,000 attended the fundraising party afterwards at the Sydney showgrounds. Well, we feel Mardi Gras is a very visible demonstration of the cultural and artistic contributions which our community makes to the life of Sydney and it uh, very much demonstrates our right to exist in Sydney and in of course the whole of Australia. It's the highlight of the year, it brings everybody together from all over Australia and visitors from all over the world. It's a great time for all of us. Well we started off very modestly with only a few thousand people but obviously there was a need for carnival in Sydney and the gay community needed to uh, a focus and this has provided it and it has just mushroomed. Mardi Gras should be a cultural, a cross-cultural event and I think that showing films like Before Stonewall what you get is a history of where we've come from and Mardi Gras is really where we're going. I mean it's a, Mardi Gras is a celebration of the fact that we've come so far as a community. And you know just having the parade is political. That's true, of course. I agree. I agree totally, and I think that's plenty. <laughs> Sisters, <laughs> sisters,